Alex, you crazy mother... have a planner unboxing for you today and every year at this time I buy another planner and I almost forgot and had a panic so I made sure to get my planner and a little bit of extra and I always get the happy planner because it's a very happy happy planner what can I say it has the format that I love actually and it's always like colorful and I'm a colorful person I got the rainbows here you can pull it out and put it in so you can do a lot of um, a lot of what do you call it again? And so it's very, very flexible. So this is also what I love about this planner. And you know, it's, you can go sticker happy. So I really love this planner for that. So I will uh, link any of what I talk about in the description box below. This Remember, do like and subscribe because it helps to put this video out into the universe. It helps me out a lot. And without further ado, let us literally get in. Let's do it. Now, of course, I did kind of look into it a little bit, but I want to share this and do a show and tell with you. So we're going to get rid of this. And this year's theme is bloom. So we are going to bloom this year. And of course, we got the rainbows. I love my rainbows. It has a lot of meaning for me. And my cat's name was Rainbow. So it does have a lot of meaning. And this year, this is the bloom design. And it's made by Paula and Waffle. Paula's dog is named Waffle. So Waffle gets into this thing. And isn't it the cutest? She does a lot of beautiful doodling. Is absolutely gorgeous. So she is a beautiful illustrator. And there is the story of Paula and Waffle. And I do a vertical planner. It works for me so well. And we'll do a quick flip through too. Then I bought some sticker books. Of course, we can't have a, a happy planner without sticker books. So this is my sticker books that I got. This is Squad Goals. These are kind of a more general pieces and you can see right here what we have this is fun it's girly like me and it does all the seasons and what you do in the seasons. so this is really fun then the next uh sticker book that i got is home essentials because you know, when you're planning, we, I need to have my home essentials. So this will have like, I'm assuming things like doctor's appointments, paydays, budgeting, grocery shopping, cleaning, all those things that we need to be able to meal prep, laundry, all those things that we need to be reminded of to do. And it incentivizes you to do these things. These were really, really affordable. They practically were giving them away. I think they were like a dollar or something. Don't quote me, but they were super affordable. These are the lovely little washi tape and I love using them. I divide a certain section of my planner for this and Yes, so that I can put like my medications on the bottom and keep myself knowing what medications I'm taking and things like that. So yes, so we're gonna go into flipping through. Now to explain, I absolutely have to have a planner. It's so important for me because especially now that I don't have a normal nine to five job, I used to have a normal nine to five desk job doing graphic design, production and management. I absolutely have to have a planner and I keep my planner literally on my dining room table by where I eat. It has to be open. I have to be able to see it because it orientates me. I'm a very visual person. I be I think that's pro probably the artist in me. Everything has to be out in the open so I can remember, reminder, everything. So my planner has to be front and center in front of me for me to know where I am, what day of the week I'm in. I literally need to be able to orient myself in the world with my planner. So if I don't have this, I am absolutely lost. Even more so now that I don't have a normal Monday to Friday. Friday nine to five job, all the more reason why I have to orientate myself. So this planner is absolute life.
life for me. So glad I got this one. This is the Bloom Planner. So we are going to open it up and we're going to flip through it quickly. And here we go. We're sliding it off. So this is the Bloom Planner. And we've got, uh, I don't know what that is, a welcome thing. Oh, we've got a nice little plastic here that I also have to take off. So it comes with this plastic protector. So we are going to take that off too. I will be right back. And of course, I love my rainbow, uh, I forgot what they're called, hinges or whatever, right? And it allows you to be able to customize your planner really nicely. And it's rainbow once again. And this one time is a pastel rainbow. So you've got your um, welcome. So this is the first page and you've got the hello this happy planner belongs to so I can put my name it's 2023 you get the month at a glance and then you've got what is this oh you can plan different things for each month so that's very interesting so if you're a micromanager which I'm not you can do this planning which probably I should try to be actually to be honest with you so you've got that and now we start the month so this is January and then you've got your different things that you can put in here you can put this is kind of more open concept so you can do what you want just gonna give you an up close this is January's first New Year's Day so they point out the the important days of the year right here. This is more of a bit of an open format system. So you can put important dates. What is it? Priorities and goals and different things here. So this is really nice. Nice. So you're going to see now there's a month at a glance and you can put your notes here. And what I love about this planner is that it is colorful. So you've got your little doodles and it's in color. I do like colorful planners. And so here you've got your nice little doodle here again, a little illustration. And again, it's in color. And then you've got your rainbows here. So I wanted a planner that was colorful and this is a vertical format. I like to put little headers here when where the days that I'm working and the days that I'm not working and then I divide it with a washi. I'll show you my washies that I bought. So I divide it right here and then I put my medications here so I know what I'm doing and then my little plans for the day. So basically the month of January is the same way. So we're gonna just flip through. So this is February. And this is the month at a glance. And then February, of course, it's the love month. So you've got this going on. And then, so we're gonna go, which is the, okay. So next one is March. Did I show you the front of February? No, I didn't. I'm not a very good flip through her. So <laughs> this is February. So be mine. Isn't this cute? I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go into March. March, everything starts to grow. The frost disappears. Well, in some parts of the world, in Canada, it takes a little longer. In Toronto, because of global warming, it actually starts to melt in March, thank God. Before it didn't start to melt until like end of April. So we got some global warming going on in Toronto. And so you've got your little beautiful flowers that are peeking up. So yes, in Toronto now peaks up. The rest of Canada, not so much. Oh, what do we have here? We have a nice little saying. Let's go see what the saying says. The saying says, fill your head with dreams and your heart with wonder. Now, I love that. That is wonderful. I didn't mean to make a pun out of it, but <laughs> there you have it. Oh, I love this one. This is beautiful. So April is showers and growing things and smiles. The leaves come in, the flowers start to bloom. It definitely is a month for smiles and rainbow when things come back and get renewed. And smile has a very special meaning to me. So there you go. And there you have it. So that's for the month of April. And then we have May, it's a bloom with all the flowers coming. And then you've got this lovely little thing there. And then you've got that there. 
This is such a happy planner, literally. Month at a glance again. So what does the day look like? So this is the lovely day and you got the lovely little flower here. I love this. So now, this is June and June is things grow. We plant our gardens and we water our gardens. And then we've got a lovely little planter illustration. I love that. Next is, ooh, this is a nice one. This is when everybody, July, everybody takes vacations. They go on trips. They go to the beach. They relax. Love it. And I love this illustration. The little crab, the sun. We have in August focus. Why do we need to focus? We're not going back to school yet. We don't go back to school in Canada until September. So mm -mm, no focus yet. This is still relaxing month. Sorry, y'all. Whoever planned this book is wrong for Canadians. Now we've got September nourish. Nice healthy fruits. There we go, cute design. Next, October, is this October? Yep, October, see, even I'm disoriented. Dream, oh, I like that. Dream, I love that. November. Ooh, sewing, making, you know, you're, you're kind of more inside more. So we get crafty, we get creative, we get knitting, we get doing artwork, we do so wonderful. I like that. So we're in November, the creative month, and then by the end of November, the beginning of December, I have to get another planner book or else. So then December, Christmas, celebrate. And there we have it, the holly and the ivy, beautiful. So that's it. Let's see if there's anything in the back. Is there anything in the back? Oh, little notes. And I've got some note paper so I can add on to it. I can put separators in there. So what I tend to do is I take my book here and I have like separators in here, these things, and I've got, and then I've got things like separators. And you see how I put the headings where I, it tells me when I'm working and when I'm off. I put these little kiss cups to tell me that that's my relaxing days and then i've got this where i show my med medication so i know where i am that way so this is very simple usually i have it way more decorated but i'm just show showing you this because i don't want to i don't want to show you too many personal things okay this is my squad goal sticker book i really like it because it's fun it's seasonal and it just does the things that the practical ones the, don't quite do. So I'm going to quickly flip through. See though, so I'm assuming this is the summertime. And then you do have notes to buy, remember all the things to do. So this is great. So you know what to do on these days. And I like these little strips. I generally put them on my Saturday and Sunday, so it reminds me of those are the weekend days, even though for me, it's not really a weekend. But it still helps me to orient myself. So we get double the fun with this. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, my plan is gonna look so cute. Look at this. Not that I go to the beach that much, but it gets me in the mood. Maybe I will go to the beach more. So here we go. Remember to buy errands, very practical. Oh, we do have a weekend banners. I love these. Oh, these are awesome. Oh my goodness. I am so happy because I really love my weekend banners. And look, they made them and they made them in 
different than like the summer versions. I know I get really silly about this. Oh, uh, these are so cute, you guys. I love it. This is fun and also practical all at the same time. So now I think this will be more spring. This is fantastic. And we got flowers. I love flowers. I am so happy I picked up this book. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow, remember all the things to do today. Woohoo, notes. Again, more weekend banners for spring. This is fantastic. So now we have fall, love this. Oh, this is so cute. What a celebration of fall. These colors are really lovely. I'm wearing fall colors today too, so there you go. Pumpkins, spice, and everything nice. Fantastic. I'd rather do the flip through this way. I felt it a little too far to do it over, you know, down flat. You can get a nice idea. And I love the dogs. I love animals. And look, there's a little one having fun in the leaves. Oh, and that looks like Ruby or Emmy. Oh, another Ruby and Emmy. Look at that. Love it. And there is my fall weekend banners. Oh, they knew me. <laughs> they knew me when they made this one, this sticker book. And now, ooh, child, more flowers, love it. Winter Wonderland, we are here making angels, buying presents. We're doing tobogganing. Yes, ma'am. And then we got the planner practicals. And then, ooh. Christmas trees. Love it. I made my Christmas tree this year. Added some extra from Amazon, which was so affordable. The little balls from Amazon. And I had other ones that were beautiful that I got elsewhere. Um, and then I put the ones that were from Amazon. And oh my goodness, my tree ended up looking like a candy cane and I'm all for it. So this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I really love this. So that's it. I am very, ha very, very happy I picked up Squad Goals, you guys. I think this is an amazing planner sticker book. Fabulous. Now we're gonna do the 734 piece Essential Homes Sticker Planner book. And this is what we get all in it for practical planning. You and I are going to be the first, well, I'm going to be the first to see this because I haven't really gone through this. So here we go. This is, whoops, the weekly checklist. Water plants, clean floors, no purge declutter, clean bathrooms, yes, wipe down surfaces, yes. Empty trash cans, yes. Outdoor spaces, not so much. Groceries, yes. Sort mail pay bills, yes. <laughs> so this is very good. A reminder. Can you imagine if we forgot to do these things? Oh, Lord. And then what is this? Wash the dishes. I don't think I need a reminder for that one, to be honest. Pay the bills. Don't really need the reminder for that one either, but you know the floors reminders who knows maybe we do need reminders and it's fun because it kind of incentivizes you to do it you know it makes it kind of fun you know when you have somebody holding your hand and encouraging you and everything it really does help you to do it i got to say i clean to oh i like this very incentivizing i like that word too okay so home is wherever you are 
clean all the things, wash all the things, weekend adventures. Oh, they're really into cleaning right now. Get things done. Note to self. Excellent. Create a home inspired by your, your life and your home will inspire. Oh, I like that. Home sweet home. Meals and memories. Notes. Okay. Family dinner. Meal prep. Meal plan. Oh, I like this. This meal plan. This is great. Not that I really do it, but you know. Grocery, oh, I like the grocery list to buy. This is excellent. This is very helpful for me. Top three, oh, I like that. Top three, three, top three priorities for the day. This is excellent. This will really get me orientated. Family dinners, meal plans again, excellent. Uh, places to clean, reminders to clean. This is great. Water plants, what I need is one for reminders to wash my hair. Wash the dishes. Once again, we got these ones. I kind of wish they weren't in the black background though. I'm not really keen on the black background. I think these are repeats. Meal plans. Oh, this is very practical. Oh, monthly budget. This is kind of cool. I like this. I do wish it wasn't in black. I don't like black, okay? I Sue me, I don't like black. Payment due, all right. Yes, excellent. Oh, oh, washing and cleaning again. Mm, I kind of wish they had like, kind of like doctors, appointments, things, you know, these kind of things that would be kind of helpful. These are kind of more like chores and stuff. Um... Yeah, the one that I really wanted was sold out. So this was my backup plan. Laundry, groceries, trash, excellent. Cleaning once again. Boy, they're really into this cleaning bit. <laughs> I need, I need like appointments, um, celebration days, um, relaxing days, like go out and, you know, to cafe. Um, to a play, things like that, appointments, dentists, doctors, I don't know, gynecologists, who the heck knows, but this is more like, I, I, this is good, yeah, but I needed a little bit more, to be a little bit more expansive than this, but this will do for now, it's not the best, I'm gonna be honest, but this is all right. This is all right. This is all that I got from my planner. Organizational haul and unboxing. And I'm very, very pleased with what I picked up. It's not a huge haul, but it's a practical haul and it's gonna keep me orientated and not confused and actually being able to be more focused and being able to plan out my days in a way where I can get my goals and my visions and my dreams to materialize and also not lose my way and not know what day I'm on or what hour I'm on. So <laughs> this really does keep my life in order. I'm very, very glad that I was able to share it with you all. Let me know how you're able to orient yourself through the year. What inspires you with your goals and your dreams? Do you have any planning techniques? Do you use planners? Are you, everything is on your phone and that works for you? Or are you like me, a very visual person that literally needs to have their planner front and center open on their eating table so they see it every morning. I hope you enjoyed this. Do remember to like and subscribe. The like really helps bring my video out into the YouTube world and helps me out. I will have links in the description box below to help you out. And with that, don't forget to rock your own kind of beauty, rock your own way of planning your days and being productive and reaching for your goals and keep on going and keep on glowing. I will. <laughs> Bye.